the wing. Oh, the lipstick is a super special thing. I never seen it before. Wow. Hi everybody. Finally, I arrived to the time uh, to show you the counters in Bubble Bubble, as I promised you. It's a very big task. The video is a bit long, but uh, there's a lot of stuff. And I think this is a part of the game, like kind of hidden behind the scenes that makes it particularly interesting. Also, now that I am an adult and I'm not just only playing, I have much more let's say insights and i like also to watch what is going on inside the game so let's start immediately with the, all the various possible counters see you later yes so very 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 quickly the, there are a number of items that you will see appear while you're playing and uh, their value depends on a number of things depends first of all on uh, how much time it took you to complete the previous level while playing. If you're at the first level, Bubble Bubble records and keeps in memory what uh, you did at your last game. This uh, happened uh, at the arcade, so it was very cool. If the, the person that played before you was very, very good, then you had uh, very nice bonuses. But I believe it, be, it happens also in the emulators and I think it records it actually in the same file where the ice scores are. Simply um, in a hexadecimal uh, code. So you can open this file and check it out. As you see here, uh, I, 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 I ranked, I sorted these uh, items uh, by their value. And there is a lot of very healthy food. So the, the low value stuff like uh, aubergine, carrots, uh, cucumber, and so on, have a very low value. And as you go up, as you see, you will start at some point to have unhealthy food. So ice creams uh, of various types, and then uh, uh, chips, which seems to be very unhealthy, and then some hamburger and uh, um, fried chicken, and then start the very, very expensive food, in fact. So since this is Japan, a lot of different types of sushi, and beer is among uh, the uh, most expensive foods. I don't know, maybe it's the most unhealthy. I have no idea what I had in mind. Then you will have, uh, starting at, uh, I think, uh, five or 6,000 points, the various uh, uh, hard stones and jewels. And uh, to, 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 to complete the whole panorama, with this dish that I mark with my cursor, that I like to believe um, is a pasta portion, <laughs> all right? And then come all the various uh, crowns if you are really super fast. So basically, if you take like a couple of seconds to complete your, your level. Da, 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 da. Dun, dun, dun. So we're gonna complete level one pretty quickly. So, immediately, all right, and we are gonna see what comes out in level uh, two, as you saw. And here are the gemstones, so 5,000 points, as I was saying. So this means that uh, uh, I was quite quick. Now, this time it will take me a little longer because I'm waiting to have all of them at the same place. And you will see that in the next level, the item will be of a, less, of a lower value. It usually here appears up there and it's 2000. That was an example. Okay, now let's go for the simplest uh, counters. This is very, very simple. Uh, bubble Bubble is re recording how many times you jump, how many bubbles you blow, and how many empty bubbles you are popping. 
So when this number reaches 51, then uh, you will be awarded with one of these uh, um, candies. Now the highest value candy is the one that will appear. If you miss the candy anyway, the counter will be reset. So it, you will have to jump other 50 times and so on. If you run, let's say, or move your uh, dragon across the screen for, for, a, for a distance that is uh, corresponding to f at least 15 times uh, the screen, then uh, you will be awarded with the sneakers that, uh, you know, will make you run much faster. And the, effect, and the effect of the candies and of the sneakers is kept until you die. So basically until uh, you're, uh, you lose uh, one life. So I will first start with the blowing bubbles. So I've blown uh, something like uh, 30, let's see. There are, I don't think I've reached the, real, the, the right number, but now I'm gonna reach it for, real, for sure. Yes, I, I, I actually reached it already before. So you see, this is the yellow candy. It makes me fire very quickly okay yellow candy quick fire quick blowing bubbles now i believe i blow also enough to obtain the next one we will see ah there we go there's the blue one not only fast but also They are flying fast. I'm firing it fast, and they are. They also the bubbles are very fast themselves. And now, let's see if I get also the third one. I think so. Yes, the purple one makes them also go very far away. So now I have fast firing, flying fast the various bubbles and also very far away. No, I get the shoes, check them out. So the yellow cross can, so the, the shoes make me very fast. Boom, look, look how fast I am. You see, sometimes uh, umbrellas arrive and this makes you skip a number of levels. The umbrella appears if you are blowing enough water bubbles. So the, bo the water bubbles are those uh, that uh, seem to create some worms. Actually, when I was a kid, I thought they were worms. In fact, it's a stream of water. And uh, if you blow 15 or 20 or 25 of these, water bubbles, you will receive uh, orange, uh, red or purple umbrella that will make you skip three, five or seven levels. Yeah, maybe comes umbrella. You see, now there is an umbrella there. Let's see if we can get catch it. Yes. And there we go. This is an easy one, uh, three levels only, all right? So. If you then eat enough of these candies, so repeatedly candies, like three times, uh, you are very, very, how you say, goloso in, in English. So you cannot stop eating candies. It's bad for your teeth, by the way. Anyway, three times a yellow one, three times a purple one, a pink or three times a blue one, you will receive a ring. So the effect of the rings is the following. If you have a red ring, you will receive 100 points for each bubble you blow. If you have a purple ring, you, have, uh, you will receive 500 points for each jump you make. And if you have a blue ring, you will receive 
10 points for every, uh, let's say, movement that you make. So actually every pixel you move, uh, you move uh, uh, left or right and so on. And this is very cool because you see that your uh, when you when, when you walk when you run on one side or the others you see your uh, points your your um, yeah you see your points increasing very quickly because it's uh, you walking this is very cool I don't know if I can make it up here let's see. There we go. So here is the, the blue ring. And now check check my my points, my score. My score is increasing every time I make a movement, which I think is, this is so awesome. Look at that. <laughs> this is fantastic. Let's see if I, because I, I ate three blue candies, but now then this effect is only for one level, okay? And there we have, uh, you see, and you see with this uh, one at every jump, I, I make uh, a few points. Look, puff, puff, puff. Then of course I die. But anyway, so now we go to the more complicated things, the lanterns. So this um, basically, give you some ef different effects de depending on the color. They are not really grouped like the others. The blue and the red lantern appear if player one or two start the game at least five times. Uh, the purple lantern appears if you take uh, one umbrella one or two times and uh, the yellow lantern appears if you take one clock one from one to four times so the yellow gives you the effect of all candies together the blue the effect of all rings together the red gives you the effect of all rings and all candies together and finally the purple i'm gonna show you right now Voila! Wow! <laughs> awesome. Despite this. And now I've taken the red lantern. As you see, I have all the upgrades of the f bubbles firing. Very good. All at once, thanks to the red lantern I'm curious ah the blue lantern this gives me all the upgrades of movements look look my score also when I jump and when I fire a ball oh I, I waited too long item so the crosses, these are an amazing uh, weapon when it appears also relatively often. So the red cross, I call it red, uh, comes if you kill uh, four, five, six, seven enemies with water bubbles. The yellow cross, if you collect a number of point items and the blue cross if you collect a number of uh, special items like all the various uh, candies and, and things like that they appear quite often and uh, they will make uh, funny things uh, in your screen which i'm trying to show you uh, in a while
Lots of points. I'm gonna blow a lot of bubbles. Boom! And now, as you see, I have. Uh, I will show you what this does. We, we have to let. Now, meanwhile, I jump a bit. So. I have only 16 of these, wa these fireballs. Fire bubbles. There we go. Look. Boom! And then gives me a diamond, of course. See, I took a long time, and so oh. let's go in this. Boom! Diamonds again. Never mind. Yeah, there will be a cane probably now. Ah. The yellow cross. I had already embedded all of them in the in the boom in the. Come on. Thank you. Now, next item in the long list are the potions. So these, you've seen them appearing from time to time. It's amazing because when uh, you, you take one, then uh, everything disappears, all the uh, monsters, and they give you like a bonus screen and you have to collect all these other items. How you make them appear? So you have to basically fall through the screen, you know, there are these levels in which uh, it's that are open uh, on the bottom and on the top. You fall down, you reappear on the top and you have to do these rounds 15 times or more to make appear a number, a, a different potion. So orange, red, uh, green and so on. A very, very, very special item is the lipstick which is something completely crazy you have to play a lot like uh, and if you start begin 777 levels so this was possible in the arcades and uh, if you're on an emulator well it will take a lot of time then the lipsticks ap appear and uh, this is uh, has the same effect as the yellow as the yellow potion. Plus, it pro it makes so that in the next three levels, I think, other potions appear. Each level will have a potion after for three times after this uh, lipstick um, come pops out. Enjoy the potions. Ah, this one. Let's see, let's see. What the win? Oh, the lipstick is a super special thing. I never seen it before. Wow. This is awesome. <laughs> this is crazy. Wow! So as you see, that's uh, the equivalent of the yellow potion. And then, if I'm correct, next will uh, arrive other potions um, in each one of the next levels. By the way, the special items in each level appear always in, in the same place, usually here in this level. There we go! There's a green potion. Fantastic! That's <laughs> this is so lucky. Man. Wow! I know I never saw that before. This means that to prepare this video, I really played a lot. Come on!
No! I, I didn't make it. Never mind. You know, when you are alone and not playing double, it's very, very difficult. So let's see if something else arrives here now. Uh, in this uh, screen, usually, is on top right. Let's see. Yes. Yeah, so this thing is correct. Then it's really like this uh, that uh, uh, the lipstick will make appear uh, potions for a number of levels. Another potion. What is the next level? Uh, this one. All right. On this level is on top right usually the special item. So let's see. Yes, the orange potion. Yes. Awesome. Right. So it's very cool because I can show you all the potions without uh, also having to play a thousand times. Okay, I will tell you now about uh, the big bonuses. So. These canes that I have uh, mentioned many times uh, in the various videos uh, of uh, you know, long plays and so on come out if you basically take uh, three times the various extend letters and they will then make appear a very big fruit of let's say food item when you have uh, defeated your last uh, uh, enemy. These are not the only items that give you big bonuses at the end of the levels. Uh, you will uh, probably encounter some uh, treasures, so to say, and these uh, uh, produce uh, big diamonds of different colors. They are generated if you catch three times crosses or three times uh, the um, purple lantern or three times a book. Finally, there is a very special item, which is the purple uh, treasure. And this comes out when you end the game. Actually, you know, when you start a new game after ending it. It happened to me when we ended the game with uh, BJ, And uh, I think I have saved uh, the high scores uh, file, so maybe I can also make it happen again to show you what I mean. So luckily I saved the high scores file of uh, when we finished uh, the game and I would like to see if it works. Doesn't ring a bell. And the treasure is there. This is because the game was finished. Yes, I did a trick uh, saving the high scores file and uh, making putting it there, but still. Uh, another. Very good. Kane. Candy cane. Let's see what comes here. Another cane. And a big watermelon. Wow. Okay, now before uh, going to the very last uh, miscellaneous uh, items, which are the most interesting, in my opinion, and uh, unusual ones, you have noticed that uh, sometimes all the bubbles that are left when you defeat the last enemy 
turn into some bonus, some food. This is also not random, but it happens if the tens and hundreds digits of your score are identical in the moment that when you defeat your last enemy of that given level. For example, this means uh, if your score ends by triple zero or 110, 220, 330, 440, and so on. And now the very last uh, items, which are the most uh, complicated, but also the most interesting ones. These items are the clock, the bomb, the bell, the book, a ring, the blinking heart, a couple of necklaces, and then this crystal sphere, the golden skull, the red bubble, and then the silver door, the golden door, and the lightning potion. Here on the left, you have all the various conditions by which the various items appear. I'm not going to read them all. You just can check them out. And uh, I just want to explain you this nomenclature. When there are several numbers, it means that the first time it appears, for example, the book, it, you will need 10 kills by fire bubbles. The second time that you want to make it appear 12, the third time 14, and then 16. And this holds also for the cases with this kind of nomenclature that you've seen in the previous pages. What is very interesting is this golden skull that is a negative item and uh, in fact these numbers of times uh, then the, the, the baron from Bluba, how you call it, or white death, uh, the way you were, we are calling it in Italian many years ago, these numbers are decreasing because each time it's going to be easier to get this bad item. And the most interesting one, in my opinion, is this red bubble. This is just a, a random thing that has a 1 over 4096 chance to appear every time there is a bubble. All right. I've seen this only twice and the first time I didn't even know what it was and I was completely confused. As you know, 4096 is not, not just a random number, but is a power of two. And you know, in binary uh, systems, so how computer works, everything works in a power of two. And 4096 is two to the power of 12. Finally, there are three items that you have seen during my previous uh, games. Long play of Bubble Bubble, uh, the silver door, the golden door and the lightning potion. And uh, I invite you to watch the other videos, for example, the video about the secret, secret rooms or the long play that shows you the end of the game to in fact see what is the effect of these items so luckily i saved the high scores file of uh, when we finished uh, the game and i would like to see if it works to make appear the treasure no oh this is interesting this is the only bad item look what happens now Ooh. A comet that usually brings bad luck and then everything is hurry up immediately. If they were not there, then uh, they would be very angry. It's the only bad item. If the comet hits one of the enemies, they become immediately red and angry. What do we have here? Ah, Cuore Matto! No! Cuore Matto, Matto da Legare! When we were kids, we were calling this uh, Cuore Matto in, uh, as, as an old uh, Italian song. Ecco qui, this was the, the pink uh, color, let's see, that basically makes... Uh, there we go. 
arrives this little star that basically is jumping everywhere until it has caught all of the enemies. The bell is gonna show me if something interesting comes. Every level that starts, it checks if something is gonna arrive, some interesting item, and it will ring a bell. Not in this case. And here the bell has rang. Has rung. Actually. To tell me that there is going to be something very interesting up there, which is a blue cross in this case. Tuck! There is a clock there. Let me show you the clock. The clock is stopping everything, but we need to be careful anyway. Because uh, they are, the enemies are still enemies. It, they, I cannot just uh, go in, into them because they will kill me anyway. Oh, now they go out. Ah, uh, maybe it's in this version that they come out. What, what, what did I get? Oh, one came out. The bomb. Oh no! Thank you. So when should I make a bubble? Thank you. Yes. I hope. What is that? What happened? Uh I honestly don't know. I don't know. Okay, I leave you with this screenshot of the red bubble during the long play with uh, Bin Jay. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. It's very long, but I told you everything about all possible counters in the game. And uh, well, have a nice evening. I think I need a break now from Bubble Bubble <laughs> and I will switch to the other games again. Bye bye, have fun and uh, Enjoy the counters.